Hello. Hello, hello. Sorry I'm a couple minutes late today. It's because I ordered some glasses that you can work on the computer in. Like the blue light eliminating or yellow light eliminating maybe. I forget which ones they are, but they literally just arrived at 10 o'clock. So I just like signed for the package, like threw it down on the table and then like ran over here like, I'm going to be late. So yeah, so hopefully because I spend so much time on the computer, like listing products and doing comments and f phone stuff and writing up patterns, which I still have to do the June pattern, write it up. My eyes are starting to hurt. So hopefully this will help. So how is everyone today? Everyone's good? Hopefully, I hope. No, I don't want that. I'm just getting the video on my iPad as well so that if I miss any comments. Okay, well, if no one's gonna chat, I'm going to get started today. Um, so we're going to do this bit. Hi, I'm good too, Kim. <laughs> we're going to do this bit over here. So it's five. This one's a bit buried, um, but it's five little succulenty type stalks. Um, and we're going to be using two different colors and just the straight stitch. So real quick, you'll notice in the pattern it's just got these little like squiggly lines. So this is where you can make a choice of how big or wide you want your stripes to be. So in this one, in this one, I kind of, why did I move that away? Let me get the, like a pen or something. I kind of did, the dark green, and then on the line, I did the light green, and then in the gap, I did the dark green again, and then on the line, I did the light green. So I kind of treated it as every line that I drew was going to be stitched with the light green. You can also do it with um, this one, this space here, will be dark green, and then this space in the middle will be light green, dark green, light green, dark green, light green. So it's up to you how many stripes that you want to have. Um, I didn't really specify only because some people will quite enjoy doing it, so they'll add a lot of different stripes in, um, and some people will think, I can't be asked to do all this, you know, because there's quite a bit of stitching to do today. Um, and that's why I did it on Friday so that you have the whole weekend to complete all of these stripey things. So for the six inch hoop, hi Louise, hi Don. I did three strands um, and the straight stitch. This is a bigger hoop, so I'm going to use six strands. And for the sake of time, I'm going to do just, um, like I said, this for the second one. So I'm going to do dark green, light green, dark green, light green, dark green, light green. And I'll probably add a bit of dark green here so it's not an even number. Hello. But like I said, you can add more by doing them um, using the lines as the other color. I hope this is making sense. Yeah. If you did the lines as a different color, it would look like this. Yeah. So it just depends on how many different sections that you want. And actually, I kind of like the look of this one better. This one's a bit like a barbershop pole, you know? I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting live video. <laughs> okay, I will get started. 
So like I said, I think I'm going to use all eight strands, uh, or all six strands, sorry. And it's going to, one, fill up the space a little bit quicker. Um, but two, because I used all six strands for all the other things, um, it's going to look a bit chunky, you know? Okay, so I'm going to do this one here so you can kind of see the difference. So we're just going to do straight stitches. There's really no, again, rhyme or reason. There's no formula. We're just making some straight stitches. And to make that zigzag effect, some are going to be short, some are going to be long. So it's kind of like the short and long stitch, but a little bit different. And I think already I want to use three strands. I think six is too chunky. doing it. I'm cutting it out. Because I really want to see those different colors. Before I started, I thought, I think I'm going to do three strands again. And then I thought, no, I'll do six and then it'll be nice and quick. It'll be all right. Should have listened to myself, huh? So apologies for the kerfuffle. Hello, hello to people who just joined. Okay, let's try again. So like I said, all of the red lines that I made on this one, they're all going to be the light green color. Yeah, I like that better already. Okay, let me zoom in so you can see very clearly. So for where the red line is, we're going to skip that bit and do just the whites in the middle. And this part doesn't really matter so much because you'll do a nice zigzag with the light green when we're finished. So I would say if you chose to make all of the lines a different color, then definitely use three strands. If you chose to do, make the lines like the barrier between the different colors, so dark green, light green, dark green, light green, I think you could totally get away with six. So because I've added more lines, um, I need to have it be a more delicate look and a thinner thread so that I can make more lines, more stripes, I mean. Like I said, I hope I'm making sense. And 
they're just straight stitches. They're not like satin stitches where you have to be kind of careful where you put them. They're just, you can do them any kind of a way. I think I cursed the weather yesterday because today is meant to storm all day long. And yesterday I was so smug about how nice it was. And now it's just terrible out. When you get close to the other ones, just kind of go around them because you don't want to kind of mix, mix them up too much. Because when we outline them later, we want to be able to outline them very clearly and clearly see where each stalk starts and ends. No. You want it to have like a zigzaggy kind of look. So you don't want it to be super clear in a straight line. You want it to be zigzaggy. Does anyone have any weekend plans? Anything exciting happening this weekend? Oh, I need Snape's birthday on Sunday. Exciting. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything special? Meg says, uh, gala and shopping. Kim is going to Birmingham for a podcast live show. Guess who lives in Birmingham? Kim. Guess who lives in Birmingham? Guess who? Me. I do. <laughs> I keep saying that I want to do like a um, stitching meetup and I never do I need to like a free stitch type thing like everyone can come and bring their projects and just like chat bitch and stitch you know Okay, so this one's almost done. I've been stitching furiously, obviously. Wouldn't it be so fun? I think it'd be great. And not necessarily like a workshop, just like come and like sit and chat and whatever. Well, I haven't got anything Sunday, Kim, so if you're around, let me know. Okay, so the, the dark green is finished, or the medium green. I'm gonna go back in with the lighter color green. And this is where you're going to make them a bit more kind of up and down, random. I 
a knot in my thread. Stitching natter, yes. This. I don't know, see, I have like the perfect house for having like people to come because I have a big, nice, long table that seats 12 people. And uh, an additional table that seats six people, like in my kitchen dining room area. But I always thought maybe people would be like, oh, go to your house. That's a bit weird. So we'll see. Because some places they charge you, like, they charge you money to, like, have meetups there and stuff. Some places don't, but... I know a couple of places that, that don't charge anything, but the lighting isn't amazing, you know? So for the light green, you're gonna go in and you're going, you're going to make them kind of a little bit more intentionally up and down. So like long and short stitch to fill them in, to fill in the, um, the red lines that I didn't stitch on. So if you did it this way, so dark green, light green, dark green, light green. Then you're just gonna fill in the spaces, the bigger spaces. Well, because I added more stripes to mine, I'll have to add some more. There's one done. Oh, George has joined. Hiya, babes. Are you working today? So obviously if you did it this way, you're gonna have more spaces to fill in than if you did it this way. So if you've gotten this far and decided, oh crap, I really didn't mean to do all this work, that's okay. Like I did at the beginning of the video, you can just cut it out, redo it. No worries. Make sure you fill in any gaps as well, because I've just noticed that some of mine are not very close together. So you don't want to see any of that red showing through at all. The live video on my phone just completely disappeared and then came back again. So no idea what's happening there. So I'll probably end up just finishing this one and then letting you guys carry on just because it does take quite a while. Um, and like I said, I've chosen this kind of group of plants um, to stitch on a Friday so that there's a weekend because there's no videos tomorrow and there's no video on Sunday. So it's Monday through Friday 
10 o'clock. So for this weekend, you've got a little homework to finish anything that you haven't finished already. So I'll be doing these plants here, not the outline, just the dark green and light green. Um, and then I didn't finish these flowers from earlier. I'm working on a wedding bouquet and it's so difficult. I love it. Like it's turning out really nice, but oh my gosh. It's basically all thread painted, all of it. I really hope that she likes it when it's, when it's finished. It's taken a bit longer than I, than I normally would take, but it's looking so good. I should turn the music off and then you can just listen to the rain. I bet that would be nice. Oh, Meg, I hope that she'll love it. I'll send you a picture later of what I have so far. Uh, but she, <clears throat> sorry, but she did order it like maybe two or three weeks ago. And I've been working on it like kind of two hours every day because it's just so, so much work. And, and it's hard to concentrate on I've thread painting every single leaf. I think it's probably one of my most difficult bouquets yet. And I think she obviously got married in like Hawaii or something because they're very like tropical looking flowers. It's not next to me or else I just show you now. Okay, so there's one done. That took kind of 20 minutes, intense, intense stitching. So yeah, I'm glad I went with three strands because of um, all the details in this one. So yeah, do you have any questions about this one? I know it's a little bit confusing because I didn't label each individual thing, but if you have to go back with a pen and kind of color in which ones you want to stitch. That's completely fine. Um, oftentimes I will do that. From now on, I'm just going to stitch dark on all the white spots and light on all of the zigzaggy ones. So that's what I'm doing. But again, everyone's hoops are going to look different. We've all chosen different colors. Um, some people have even amended the pattern. So they didn't want the greenhouse in there. So instead they just drew a couple more flowers or trace the flowers from the pattern to just make another big pattern here. I mean, another big flower here. That's totally fine. You do you, you know, whatever you feel like doing. So don't be stressed out. Um, but yeah, just a reminder, no video tomorrow. There's no live tomorrow. No live on Sunday. So I'll see you again on Monday. Yeah? I will be around though. So if you have any questions or if you feel like I really don't understand this or for any reason, um, send me a message and I will get back to you for sure. Yeah? Okay. Well, have a great weekend. And that's me done. Talk with you later. Bye.